It's the Oscars red carpet. And the stars brought their fashion A-game for Hollywood's most glamorous night. And this panel of fashionistas has seen it all. From faux pas to fashion forward. With host Dana Devon, they are the Fashion Fanatics. Welcome to Fashion Fanatics Academy Awards only here on Reels. I'm Dana Devitt and we are celebrating the very best and the very worst, of course, on the red carpet. So before we get to the Oscar glam, let's welcome our wonderful style experts. Our first fashion authority is a favorite on Ellen and the doctors. She is a beauty and style guru, Kim Douglas. Hello, honey. Hi, Dana. Good to see you. All right, she is the co-host of Hollywood Dailies here on Reels. Say hello to our resident fashionista, Viviana V. Hill. Hello. hello. Good to be here. So good to have you. All right, he's appeared on television's most popular style shows, red carpets, and he's dressed some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Sam Savora, hello cutie. What's up you guys? Good to see you. <laughs> and finally, he is the go-to guy in Hollywood for luxury jewelry and accessories. We are thrilled to welcome back Michael O'Connor. Hi darling. Dana, great to see you guys. Good to have all of you guys here. Let's begin with the A-list celebrity couples who were there to bring their A-game. Okay, who did you think, Michael? Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. She brought her A-leg. <laughs> that leg was everything. <laughs> Is and then, like, speaking of everywhere, did you know that her leg has its own Twitter? Oh, yeah. Right now? With 8,000 followers. Yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. More than now, we yeah. She was in that fabulous <laughs> velvet by Versace. He always looks elegant. And there's a very special little bond between them. And when it, we talk about jewelry, we'll get there. Yeah, but I, she needed to bring more than that black. Yeah. Over the black yeah. dress. Oh, I thought she looked hot. Hot, hot, hot. The body, the waist. I'm glad that someone had some drama. Like that full skirt right. felt like the Oscars to me. I thought that was one of the few moments that felt Oscar-y last night. Who did you like, Viviana? You know, there were so many really amazing couples on the carpet, but I got to say, one of my favorites was Little Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Heart Miss yeah. Piggy. I loved her yeah. hair for one. She looked fantastic. <laughs> and Zach Posen, nonetheless. And of course, Kermit was wearing Brooks Brothers. I mean, they were adorable. But of course, we have to go to the quintessential red carpet couple, George Clooney and Stacey Keebler. I mean, yeah. they just looked like they were going to take the night. Now, George didn't take any awards home, but he did have his gold statuesque. This dress was a showstopper for me and a total knockout. One of my absolute favorite dresses of the night. It's like one word for her was finally. Yes, yes. Finally. Yeah, finally. finally. I just thought it felt like, you know, like gold lame. Like, yeah. you know, I hate that phrase, old Hollywood. But this <laughs> is like. Oh, <laughs> you said, you you said, said it. it. I'm not what? saying it. But this is like the new the new Hollywood because to me this felt like taking influence from the like from the old days and bringing it up to date. And I think Marquesa is so structural and and statuesque and she's like seven oh, feet tall. Yes. So I think that it worked so beautifully on her body. Well, I, I happen to love and these are two people that you don't really talk about a lot on the red carpet. Gary Oldman and his wife Alexandra Edinburgh. I thought, wow, Gary Oldman and Paul Smith looked fantastic, and I thought Alexandra Edinburgh just sexy the the creaminess and the lightness of her skin against that dress, the sparkle, the sex appeal. It was Roberta Cavalli. I thought they were a really strong couple last night. They, she mm -hmm. looked gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, I think bringing a little bit of royalty to the red carpet was really a great touch. And who expected to see Princess Grace's son, Prince Albert of Monaco, and his new wife, Princess Charlene. I thought they looked great. They really did. They just brought a little extra class to it. She was very elegant, a little, some people are saying icy, but that's just part of her whole regal look. Mm -hmm. I really loved it. Let's dive right into the trends and who wore them best. Sam, let's obviously start with you. Everyone looked gorgeous in this soft, what I'm calling a soft one shoulder. It almost fell off the shoulder, a tousled, very sexy look. To me, the shoulder line is one of the most beautiful things on a woman at almost any age. So right. Stacey Keebler in that gorgeous Marquesa gold dress falling off the shoulder. You're seeing Kate Mara here. You know, it's a little bit slouchy here, a little too droopy, but I do love the look. It looks romantic to me. Mm -hmm. And my favorite, perhaps, last night, Mila Jovovich in this stunning Ellie Saab Couture dress from 2009, actually. Her first time at the Oscars. This is what we expect to see at the Oscars, flawless. Right. From head to toe, that icy, silvery white mm -hmm. dress, perfect hair, perfect makeup, and again, that romantic, uh, soft one shoulder. I Take loved note. it. This yes, is what we expect. This is what we expect. And this, <laughs> this is, is your homework, people. Yes. Classic and stunning she to me, and she good. was a knockout. Yeah. Um, and what did you like? What trends did you see? You know what? I loved the big pops of color. I really mm -hmm. did. I, I just think Angelina in the black and so and so in the white. It's Over like, at okay, com. let's get some color. And I loved coral. It was one of the strongest colors 
on the red carpet, and I think it looks good across the board, and Michelle Williams was my favorite. Yeah. She just rocked it. Natalie Portman also wore that kind of color hue of that coral, and she was so pretty. And, and getting elegant. a lot of slack for the polka dots on her dress. No, I didn't like I it. Know. I, I thought it looked cheap. It. Yeah, I loved I it, too. It this was vintage like it. Uh, Christian but Dior. But I didn't, wow. I think I'm the only person in the world who did not love Michelle Williams. I thought there Are was a lot going me? on. We're going to take it out little little later. Bow. I thought, oh, I I thought there was a lot going on. I know, I'm the only person in the world. Michael, who did you like? Well, I really have to tell you that from a trend perspective, the biggest thing that I saw, and we saw this all over Fashion Week, was beading and that whole glamorous look of the 80s. I thought that that was amazing. And we saw that on so many people. We saw it on um, Ellie Kemper in uh, Armani. We saw it on Rose Byrne. Okay, but you know who really I thought needed a little bit of work? Penelope Ann Miller. Oh. What was that? That was custom made Badgley Mishka. Custom and made for someone else. Yes. <laughs> custom made for it wasn't for her. Else. And it was not custom made to not be worn with Spank. I mean, Spank her tummy, and I'm not talking Wait. in a good way like after a fun day. No, she no. was wearing Spanks. You could see them pooling. You could see them oh, at her thigh yeah. pooling. She looks like a poor man's Charlize Theron with that oh. headband knockoff. That dress is wrong on so many levels. But there were some great ones. Judy Greer, okay, Amazing. in Monique. Monique Lurier, Art. absolutely beautiful. Dress. I mean, yeah. to me, that was sleek and chic. Right. She's not a humongous star, you guys, no. and she really no. brought it to the she Oscars. I thought like she one. dressed like a star. Right. Yeah, not a supporting character anymore. She's a main star now. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, have yeah. A, I have a trend that's not necessarily a good trend. I saw a trend of people wearing not age-appropriate clothing. Mm -hmm. Shailene Woodley must have got that dress from uh, her grandmother's my nana. My nana wore that her great grandmother's closet. Yeah. I 100% agree I with you. I loved oh, it. Oh, I hated it. I'd love to see her in something flirty and fun. I mean, I there's agree. so many colors. She did so well at the Golden Globe. Oh my god, she was phenomenal. She was a knockout. Phenomenal Can we talk at the Golden about Bernice Bourgeois? I mean, she was another one wearing a frumpy grandmother. She was an Oh No. She was a Bernice Oh No. This is Ellie Saab Couture. Mm -hmm. This dress did nothing for oh, her right. visually, nothing for her proportionally, nothing for it her color-wise. Like it was too big for her. Really. It and it looked like another pastel. Yeah. Which we'll Not get flattering. Well, she actually would have. Good point. Coming up on Fashion Fanatics Academy Awards, we have got the biggest red carpet risk taker who struck gold and who struck out completely in their worst song. And later, our picks for best and worst dressed. You know that's what you want to hear. Stick around, fashionistas. We'll be right back. Fashion Fanatics Academy Awards, our red carpet roundup for the Super Bowl of fashion. All right, experts, let's talk about the fierce fashion risk takers. All right, first up, Rooney Mara Givenchy. Say, I, hear, uh, I hear she just got it that morning. That's really? such a crock of no. crap. Oh. Listen, <laughs> this girl had every designer, McQueen, Givenchy, Lanvin, designing dresses for her, and she selected the Givenchy dress that morning right. does not mean that she went to Saks and pulled it off the rack. Give me that. This is such a drama. Well, because there would be alterations. Yeah, come on. She looks, I thought she looked fantastic. She did. Lacy, thank God she didn't wear black. Yeah, yes. she took a risk in yes. that way, in going for the white and the flowy and the girly. Okay, right. but I do have to say, come on. I mean, she does this stark look, and it. I know it's her own unique look. It, yeah. I mean, it works for her, mm -hmm. but she really needs an accessory. Just give me one accessory. You know, Just make like, me happy. I like is that it, she had nothing. Is it her unique look? Look, or she's still in character. She's like it's the, a little the bit of both. most extreme method actor I've ever seen. The I movie's agree. over, honey. Okay. <laughs> the and fans are gonna film some more. Me. She's growing yeah. her hair out from bald. You guys, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I resemble that remark. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Tina was wearing those clip-on bangs in the makeup room before this. She really was. You just clip I'll bring on those out later. Yeah. It's good times. All right, who? Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. This is a Jean Baptiste Valli, one of my favorite favorite designers. I know that people are kind of like hit yeah. or miss with this. I love love this dress. It's couture, it's dramatic, she's tall, she carries it, she looks like she likes the dress, yeah. and that's what I love about the look, I, I and love I, it. I totally agree with you, I love that, I know that she's going to get a lot of flack about mm -hmm. the bow on the side. I'm not going to throw down any further with you all guys. Right. She looks, all right, she looks oh, good that was going home. I do actually think we have one we can all pretty much what? agree on, and I, I would say Glenn Close. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. And that could have gone either way. Yeah. I mean, she, let's face it. Absolutely. It could have been a pantsuit, like, yeah. you know, a Hillary Clinton <laughs> in the pantsuit. She sat everybody down at that Oscar and said, I'm gonna give you my body, I'm gonna wear a tuxedo jacket, yep. I'm giving you color, 
and sex appeal at over 60. And Zach Posen. Mm -hmm. I thought she looked fit. From the side, she kind of looked like Camilla Parker Bowles, but <laughs> for the most part, I thought, wow. The color, the color, the color looks great on her, and I'll tell you, that's a huge color for fall. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And speaking of that color, Michael, a lot of the actresses are really taking their beliefs, their core beliefs, into what they're wearing on their makeup as well as their dress, and Missy Pyle is a perfect example of that. Everything she wore, and I thought she looked beautiful, was eco friendly so everything was sustainable right. it was made from recycled <laughs> I know what you're thinking they said something like um, what was it about the silk the worms? worms the worms were like cruelty free silk they're worms like, it was <laughs> organic. farm raised they were like farm raised silk worms break. it was organic she looks beautiful silk. recycled fabric means I'm going to Valentino and they're going to choose a fabric from 10 years ago <laughs> right. and make a dress out of it, it or vintage mean, right. come on I'm it means a vegan belt to me and I don't you know what it means vegan what is that licorice Plastic. <laughs> That's what it means. Plastic. It's made of plastic. All right. But Next on Fashion Fanatics Academy Awards, it's retro hair on almost everyone except for Christian Wig. No pun intended. Oh. Oh. And later, how about those million dollar jewels? Who dazzled and who needs to put down the bedazzler? Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dana Devon, joined by our phenomenal panel of fashion experts here on Reels. A star-studded night at the Academy Awards, so let's try on some bling for size. Who blew your jewelry love in mind, Michael? Oh my God, there were so many, but I mean, the necklace is obviously back, and Natalie Portman rocked that one from Harry Winston. It was amazing. The necklace was amazing, but I have to say, six carats each in her ears at these beautiful ovals, which were, I think, just phenomenal. And she weighs six carats, right? So. <laughs> and she does weigh six carats. And then I have to give it then to Penelope Cruz. 120 carats of Chopard, also a necklace. She went minimalist. But, yeah, yeah. Mi went minimalist. Well, she Maybe went she should put down the bedazzler. Yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Kim, who did you like? Dana, I loved Berenice Bircho. Mm. She was absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm talking from the neck up. Right. right. Now, and we only. all talked about the bottom, but when you go upward, those gorgeous emerald rich drop mm -hmm. Chopard earrings that were a little matchy with the dress, it really was stunning. They right. were fighting her roots a little bit, too, by there the way. There was a lot going <laughs> yeah. Viviana. Okay, my favorite had to be Cameron Diaz, and she went ahead with that Riviera necklace trend. Yep. Tiffany, Diamond's our girl's best friend, and she knows it. You guys, interesting placement of jewelry were Angelina Jolie's Neil Lane brooches that she put on the back of her dress. Pay no attention to that um, chopstick that looks like an arm. <laughs> Look at the brooches, and you know what? These brooches have been worn a lot on the red carpet, these exact, I think I used them at the Emmys like five years ago, but I do like the unexpected pop of jewelry at the back of the dress. I thought it was cool. All right, so let's go from jewelry now to go to hair beauty, red carpet, all the stuff oh. we saw. It was so gorgeous. Well, you know, J-Lo was a standout mm. for me. Mm. Her icy look, those soft, pearlized eyes, that glowing skin that she always has. The but I, glow. Yes, but I love that she had that whole 70s makeup. And then she just whipped her hair with that top high bun. Gorgeous. It I'm going to try that yeah. when I get home. I, I think <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be very lengthy. It'll, It'll be lengthy. I, I think she looks amazing. Yeah. Stunning. Gorgeous. Okay, what did you think of Young? Well, you know what? Viola Davis has been talking about this entire award season, how this movie, The Help, has really brought her into herself. She knows herself. This is manifested on the carpet at the Academy Awards. She brought her real hair. And she's been wearing a, a, a wig for a lot. And she looks great in a wig, but I love the real hair. I thought it was such a statement. She looks so comfortable. Oh, that was the best part of her whole look. I really loved it. You know what? I, I love that she's trying to do natural hair. I get that, but I don't think this was the time to do it. I think it kind of aged her when you saw oh, really? up oh, close. No. She needs some of that.